right, ladies, we are here and we are ready to dish on all the controversial trends. So some of these trends, let me tell you, are ones that we love, some of them are ones that we hate, but all of them have one thing in common, which is the influencers, the bloggers, and also some of our viewers cannot agree which ones are on trend and which ones are not on trend. So we're gonna go through the 13 most controversial ones. We're gonna share them with you today and we would love to have you ladies leave us a comment down below and let us know where you guys stand on these specific trends. Yes, I cannot wait to read the comments because <laughs> a lot of these things are things that you guys consistently comment on. You let us know, I hate that or I love that. So we couldn't wait to put this together and really share our thoughts and get your feedback. So if you are new to our channel, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We would love to have you join us. We make content all about fashion. We do tips and tricks and hauls and lots of budget-friendly content. And we just hit our 100,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate all of your support. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit it down below and your notifications so that you don't miss out on anything new. So we're gonna start with this first one, which is definitely one we get lots of comments on, but make sure you stay tuned to the end because we are going to save the most controversial fashion trend for the very end. So the first one that we're gonna start with is one of my personal favorites and one I definitely have taken a lot of slack for, and that is distressed denim. I love distressed mm -hmm. denim. I love a little bit of ripped on the knee or like a raw ripped up hem a little bit. Not too much distressing. I don't want to look like I got mauled by a tiger or anything like that, but I love a little bit of distressing because it just really goes with my very like casual lifestyle. And sometimes if I'm wearing something that I feel like is a bit more like stuffy or dressed up, like maybe a blazer or a satin shirt or something, having that little bit of distressing distressing makes me kind of balance it out so I don't feel like too business, too professional, and it just suits me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, Kelly and I are on the same page with this one. We both love our distressing. I will say though, for those influencers and viewers who do not like distressing, they feel like it's not age appropriate. They think that we are too old to be wearing distressing. Mm -hmm. They also feel like it doesn't give a very refined and sophisticated look. Mm -hmm. Any sort of distressing just makes your outfit look a little casual. I've even heard some little comments thrown around about like, oh, I think it looks a little trashy with all of the distressing. <laughs> so of course, you know, for us, we know that there are some strong opinions out there. You're either someone who loves it or you're someone who hates it. And maybe you're like us, maybe you love it. But we of course really wanna know, I love distressing, I just don't love a ton of distressing. Right. I have no problem with like a little distressing on the collar of a denim jacket or even on a chambray shirt. So let us know, ladies. Okay, so another controversial trend that's out there is whether athletic wear is appropriate to wear when you're not at the gym. So that's everything from biker shorts to some of these workout tops. For me personally, I, I don't like seeing athletic wear outside of the gym. I feel like it's very specific to this location, which should be when you're working out. I don't really like to see it outside. I personally hate it on myself if I'm not, if I'm wearing it and I'm not working out. So for me, that's how I feel about it. But I know there's a whole swath of other people <laughs> who love their workout gear and who are shooting daggers at me right now. I'm so sorry, but I really, I just hate this trend. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan either. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I've never been guilty of this when I actually like played tennis. I sometimes yeah, would true. run into Publix with a tennis skirt on but we were or whatever. literally coming right from tennis lessons, Exactly, so. exactly. And I really did try hard to get home, shower, and change. But yeah, this trend is something that when I was doing car line when my kids were a little bit younger, I mean, you would just see like, tons of moms like mm -hmm. walking into the school with their kids with their workout gear and then you'd see the same moms in the afternoon picking yes. up still wearing their workout gear some of them were going to parent teacher conferences in their leggings right. with their dry fit and everything and like I just feel like it's not the most appropriate look for wearing every day now I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of <laughs> a lot of hate for that and you know what if you're really working that hard at the gym for hours then what do you care what I think yeah. what do you care like I'm not wearing workout gear because I'm not working out I'm yeah. lazy. So, <laughs> 
don't listen to my opinion. <laughs> but yes, for me, I feel like ideally you would change at the gym, maybe yeah. like put on some deodorant, take a quick shower, something like that. Yeah. It, it's not, it's really and, not meant yeah, to be an and, outfit. And some of these influencers, they feel like it's really trendy to mm -hmm. also that's wear true. a lot of that's this true. athletic wear. They think that that is something that's completely appropriate. It doesn't matter what you're doing during the day. So, and that we're just, you know, out of, out of style and out of fashion, but you know, that's why it's controversial. Okay, so this is another controversial trend that it's been creeping in for a little while and I thought it kind of was going out, but then I've kind of seen it reappear sometimes, mm -hmm. so I'm not really sure, but that is belt bags. So belt bags traditionally are worn actually like a belt, kind of like a fanny pack from back in the day. Um, and now we sometimes see people wear them across this way, seeing them in like designer versions or um, different like nylon type of versions and stuff. So I don't hate this one. I don't hate it. I even tried it for a hot minute. Um, I just found that it really wasn't very like practical for me. I feel like if you are someone too who has like a larger chest wearing a purse here probably isn't going to work out that well for you. And for me, I just felt like it wasn't very comfortable. It wasn't very practical for me to get in and out and to get my things. I don't hate it. I definitely would say probably not something I would ever want to invest a lot in because it just doesn't seem very classic. Does it, it goes with like more of an athletic style, it which does. is probably why it didn't work for me either because I have much more of like a feminine style and having this like big, you know, belt bag across me or around my waist just wasn't really working. So for me, this one's kind of a no. Yeah, and, and I think we've also seen um, a wide variety amongst a lot of influencers. Mm -hmm. So there's certain influencers that we will watch that I think one of them is called like Almost Ready, and mm -hmm. she'll sometimes wear like the um, the belt bag, which I think it just looks super cute. But what then does there's, it on her? Yeah, I know. <laughs> she's adorable. But then there are other influencers who you just will never see them ever wearing it, and I think it's because they feel like it's not part of their style. They don't like that trend. So for me personally, I've never bought one. I think it's a cute trend. I personally just don't like it on myself. So I kind of don't have any sort of, you know, extreme feelings on this trend one way or the other, but I know that there's a lot of women out there that do and that either hate it mm -hmm. or they love it. I feel like today's video is a little bit like that one TV show. Are you going to love it or are you going to <laughs> list it? <laughs> Sorry, I was doing a lot of binge watching. <laughs> so I was watching a lot of that show. But anyways, so our next trend that's controversial is pointed toe shoes. So this can be anything from flats to boots to mules to loafers. And I will tell you, for Kelly and I, we love our pointed toe shoes. Yep. We really do. We love them. However, we know that there are a lot of viewers, <laughs> whether it's physically you cannot wear a pointed toe shoe or whether you just hate that look. So this is another controversial one where it, not everyone can get on the same trend, uh, on the same page. It's not a kumbaya moment, you know? There's women who love it or they hate it. So yes. we just want to know. Yeah, it's so funny. This is definitely one of the most commented on things. Whenever we talk about shoes, we'll have some people going, I will never wear those pointed <laughs> you're going to ruin your feet. I mean, yeah. they, people have very strong opinions on it. Of course, we love them. I definitely love to like a little bit of like a, the hybrid, like almond type yeah. of toe. It's very comfortable. I will say for those of you who do hate this trend, I recently was doing some research for shoe videos coming up and guess what? Ballerina flats are actually coming back on trend. So you will have that round toe option again yeah. if you like that trend, but pointed toe is still very hot. We love it, especially in like a little ankle boot or something or a high heel. I think it's really flattering, elongates the leg. So let us know, I know you will. <laughs> so this next one is one we always get a lot of comments on, but usually it's because of the way that I say it. <laughs> so, I don't know why, but I love to say leggings. So I'm gonna try really hard to say leggings, <laughs> leggings. This trend is the leggings trend, which we know some of you love leggings. So these are, you know, those tight, stretchy pants. A lot of people um, wear them with like tunic tops or longer sweaters or even like an untucked button down or something, maybe throwing on like some boots with it. I still traditionally think of leggings as like a workout pant. So for me, 
This is a trend that I just really don't like. First, I think if you're going to do it, it has to be very strategic. I think that you need to have something long enough to cover all the lady parts in the front and the back because I just don't think it's flattering to see all of that. I don't think it's appropriate for a pant, but this is definitely a very highly debated subject because some people just absolutely love leggings. Yeah, and they love them, especially if you're somewhere where that has like a little bit of cooler weather because mm -hmm. you like to wear them with like those like fluffier type of boots and maybe like a big chunky sweater over top. You know, for me personally, I don't wear leggings. Um, I don't like how they look on my body and also, I, I don't know, it's just not really kind of part of my style, but I know that there are very strong emotions about the leggings. <laughs> or true. as Kelly likes to call them, the leggings. The leggings. The leggings. The leggings. <laughs> if you're going to wear the leggings, make sure you wear the thicker fabric. That's mm. the one thing I would say, you know, like I've definitely seen some very fashionable women that like this trend, but they go for a very high quality thicker legging. The worst is when you can see the skin like through the black leg yeah. and that yeah that's or the little bit of like the color of the look. white white undies not underneath. a good yeah. or or no undies underneath. yeah <laughs> <laughs> not a good look <laughs> All right, so this trend is one that I personally really love, and that is wearing rompers or jumpsuits. So I love being able to get one outfit out of, you know, like a little romper for the spring or even in the fall, or a very cute jumpsuit. Personally, for me, I think it really gives, especially those jumpsuits, a very elongating kind of look. I think that there's so many cute prints and patterns that come in these like little rompers. I love to dress up at nighttime with a little romper and like a heel or something like that, or even just a casual look during the day with a romper and maybe some sandals and a little denim jacket. However, on the flip side, <laughs> we have gotten some feedback that there's a lot of viewers who hate rompers, they hate jumpsuits, they feel like it's completely impractical, they do not like having to take off you know, the entire outfit in order to go to the bathroom. Just logistically, they hate this trend, they don't like it. Yeah, and I mean, I hate to admit it, it's a little TMI for you ladies, but if they have wide enough leg openings, there are some workarounds on having to take them. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, I've gotten really good at <laughs> Not with a jumpsuit, only with a romper. I've gotten really good at it, you know, but, but kind of like a bathing suit, you know. Oh, okay. Anyway, you guys can figure that out. <laughs> but I happen to love rompers. So rompers to me, it's like I can get away with wearing shorts, but maybe making them look a little bit more like elevated. Some rompers could even be like a little bit dressy. I once wore a sequin romper to a gala and got tons of compliments on it and I felt so glamorous in that. So I love them. I love a great jumpsuit. It really is about like finding the right one for your proportions. I know for me, I'm short-waisted, so some of them can have a little bit too much in the rise and everything, but if I find the right one, especially if it has like a cinched waist or a belted waist or a wrap style, yeah, I absolutely love it. So if you haven't tried it and you think you hate it, just give it a try because you never know. It's definitely one of those like love it or hate it controversial trends. This next one is another one that we always get a lot of comments about. Some really positive, some really negative. People have strong opinions on this one and that is sneakers with dresses or skirts. So this is relatively new trend that we've seen become more and more popular within the last few years and it's one that I have definitely embraced. I really love it and it's kind of funny because my mother-in-law is currently on a trip in Turkey and she's been sending me some pictures and she's wearing the cutest little dresses with her mm -hmm. sneakers and I'm like I think my mother-in-law is watching that channel. <laughs> so she looks so cute in it and so stylish and I feel like it's such a practical trend because you're able to wear these very like comfortable light and airy dresses but you're able to still be really comfortable with a good supportive shoe. They're making lots of sneakers that work so well with these dresses so I love it. I think it's a way to have that like femininity and style of a dress or a skirt but then still have the practicality and the comfort of a sneaker. So. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. I really like it. 
So I personally, I really love the sneaker and dresses or sneakers with skirts. I think it's super cute, but there are other women who do not wear it. They don't like it. They feel like it just doesn't go together. Why are you going to wear a chunky sneaker with a feminine dress or a feminine uh, skirt? There's so many other shoe options out there. Why are you pairing the two together? It doesn't look right. There's something so off about it. It makes my legs look <laughs> chunky and short. And so definitely there is, you know, a, a big difference in opinion on this one. So, you know, as usual, we just want to know, we want to know where you ladies stand on this. Yeah, room. that actually reminds me, we actually had a viewer recently who said um, that, well, dresses look better with high heels. And I asked my husband and, and male coworkers and, and okay, yes, of course, of course. If you put on high heels with a dress, that's always going to look, you know, great. It's always going to be sexy and beautiful. But ladies, like that's not always the goal, right? Like sometimes we also wanna be really comfortable and practical. So I wouldn't say that dresses and sneakers is going to give you that like super polished, elegant mm. or sexy look, but it can be really cute and really comfortable. So yeah, I love it. So I'm trying to think, this might be one of the trends that I hate the most, <laughs> that I have the strongest feelings about, Yes. but I'm not sure because I can't remember everything that's on the list. So if I come back and, you know, say, oh, this is the trend that I hate the most, then, you know, just know that I'm not lying, but this is right up there oh, at the yeah. top. And that is low rise pants or in our case, I would say jeans. So I absolutely hate low rise jeans. I remember a 2000s that was very, very popular and my body was also very different back then and when i look at the pictures i still just don't think even when i was significantly smaller that it really did much for my body i think that there's a small part of the population where this particular trend really works well for i think the majority of women it just doesn't do your body any sort of favor so that's the reason why i hate it so much because i almost feel like if i shout it loud enough they won't get rid of the <laughs> mid-rise and the high-rise <laughs> jeans because i need those yes. i need those my muffin top needs those <laughs> mid-rise and high-rise jeans don't get rid of them don't replace them with low-rise oh, i no. can't i can't go back we can't go back, can't go back. We can't go don't back. make me do it no this is definitely like my high school years, this is, so it had to be 90s too because this is what we lived in. Yeah. Like this was the gene, right? And you didn't really have other options. I feel like this was the gene, this is how we yes. all did it. And I just remember like I'd go to sit down and you'd have to grab the jeans and hold them yes. before you sat. <laughs> and then if you went to pick up something off the floor, oh, forget oh, it. You're yeah. going to have a Britney Spears moment <laughs> coming out the back of your jeans. Yes. Like they were just really dangerous. Mm. They were dangerous. And I do think that they can be really cute on younger people. I actually, my daughters, they thrifted a pair and they're always like going back and forth, arguing over who gets to wear the low rise boot cut jeans. And it really works for them. But yeah, after a certain point, I mean, the idea of having something that like hits that low yeah, and every time you area. move, you're going to get like a belly mm -hmm. or some muffin top or, you know, you have to worry about what panties and no, thank you. No, thank you. We're not going back. We're not going back there. So this is a question that we still get asked a lot on our channel in the mm -hmm. comments section. And that is, is it okay to wear white after Labor Day? Yes. Yes, it is. However, I still feel like this might be controversial because I feel mm -hmm. like there might be some people saying otherwise, especially some people from, you know, older generations. They're really like kind of stuck in this idea because they were just taught this for so long. But no, it is now okay to wear white after Labor Day. Everybody's doing it. I feel like once winter whites became really popular, it right. kind of pushed this whole concept out. People are definitely wearing white after Labor Day. You know, classic white shirt, a white jean, white pants. It's more the fabrics that tend to change now with the season. So things like linen and stuff, I would say that's more spring summer fabrics. But if you're talking about like sweaters and cashmere and silk and satin and cottons, we're doing those all year. And white jeans, can really work for fall and winter, especially when you're pairing them with something like darker and more fallish on top, maybe an ankle boot. So you can wear white all year. So for me, this isn't even a controversy. It's it's changed, the rule is gone, the rule is dead, but we know we're still getting some comments and questions about it. Yeah, and not only the viewers are questioning it, but also there are bloggers that are also debating, they're hotly debating whether you can wear white. And some of them agree, yes, you can. And others are saying, no, this has been a rule that's been in place since forever. And anyone that's trying to change it is, you know, 
doing a huge disservice to the women of fashion the fabrics and you know the styles it just doesn't go together it looks off so it's hotly debated there's so much difference in opinion for me i really love wearing like whites and creams and lighter colors in the fall and in the winter i wear it all year round i really enjoy it but i know that not everyone agrees and so you know it's okay it's okay it's just one of those controversies this next trend is one that there's no controversy here we both <laughs> love this trend and that is the front tuck we love tucking in the front of our shirts we feel like it's very slimming you know it kind of just skims the side it also helps to cover up a little bit of that rear end we think it also gives some great waist definition but there are some women out there who absolutely hate the front tuck they don't like having their belly exposed they don't think that it's flattering yeah i think for a lot of people the idea of having like half of your shirt tucked in doesn't really make sense to them they're kind of like which is it do you want to tuck in your shirt mm -hmm. or do you want to not tuck in your shirt i know my husband used to make jokes about that as well and now he's done it himself once or twice and so the thing about the half tuck or the front tuck is that you're able to show some of that waist definition but still not feel like completely exposed so if you are someone who maybe has more of a rectangular shape doesn't have a lot of definition in the waist tucking in your whole shirt can really make you feel a little bit like round or you know like you don't really have a lot of shape and kind of feel exposed mm -hmm. however when you can tuck just half of it whether it's in the front or off to the side you feel like you're creating a little bit more of that shape so when you tuck it towards the front you're kind of creating like a bit of a triangular look to the body which can be really flattering it's one of my personal favorites or even when you do it a little off to the side I feel like I'm able to show a little bit of waistline I'm able to give myself a little bit of shape but without feeling completely exposed with everything tucked in so I think it's a great one there is no controversy for me at all but we know that some of you don't really get it you don't really understand maybe you think yeah. it's a little sloppy um, it's definitely more casual it's not something I would do if I was wearing something like very elegant or dressed up like a blouse and fancy pants and heels probably wouldn't do this but it's a great casual look so if you haven't tried it don't hate on it give it a shot so this next one is all about the boots and that is the over the knee boots. So probably a year, two years, three years ago, these were all the rage. We saw them just over the knee. They were super popular. Every Instagrammer and blogger was wearing these boots. They were so hot. And I think that they can be really cool. They definitely look very edgy. They're definitely very high fashion. Now we're seeing them come back around and getting even a little bit higher, everything from over the knee up to like midway up the thigh. It's definitely a look. Probably not one that's super popular in South Florida because it just our weather just doesn't really call for that So if I were to wear this look here, I feel like I'd get a lot of looks like why is she wearing those? It's 90 degrees outside However, can't really speak for my friends in the north in the cooler temperatures I think it can be really cool looking really high fashion it's not a trend for me. I will say I've, I have worn them in the past. I did wear them when they were just over the knee. I thought they were really cool. It doesn't really suit my style as much anymore, but this is one that I don't hate. I don't hate. I think it can look really good on the right body type. And this is one I do think um, influencers aren't 100% on the same page yes. with because I will say that there are some influencers I still see them rocking the mm -hmm. over the knee boot. However, there are other influencers where it's ankle boots all day, every day, and I really haven't seen them wearing any over the knee boots. So I think this is one where you're gonna have some women who feel like it's a little bit outdated or possibly doesn't fit with their style and other people who maybe just the weather elements, it really calls for a, a more dramatic kind of boot, maybe a cute slouchy sweater. For me, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, like Kelly said, we live here in Florida. We just don't have the opportunity even if we did i don't know if i would honestly still yeah. wear it but this is for sure a controversial controversial one i can't even say it <laughs> <laughs> we're that's so nervous how, that's how controversial it is <laughs> So this next trend is one I really don't understand why there's any controversy. I really love this trend and that's jean shorts. 
So it doesn't matter whether it's the shorter kind of like cut off jean shorts or even the Bermuda style. Certain women just really hate wearing jean shorts. They kind of feel like jeans should either be full length or you may, might be able to wear it like in a skirt, but shorts, no, it looks a little trashy I've heard you know them saying in the comment section or they feel like with all the cut off and the fraying and all the distressing they think that it's not appropriate for the age group I personally I really love my jean shorts it's something I always is I'm always gonna have as a staple in my wardrobe I wear the heck out of them so I know every single spring come around I'm looking for my next pair you know yep. that I can wear during the spring and during the summer because I'm gonna get so much use out of them yeah I think this might be another one of those trends that kind of depends on where you live Maybe. because I will tell you if you live in South Florida you're wearing jean shorts like that is just a thing here everybody wears them almost year-round because we, we can wear them fall <laughs> winter so too true. you put on your we little two like, weeks of winter sweatshirt <laughs> with your jean shorts and you're good to go yeah. so yeah I love jean shorts it's honestly my most reached for pair of shorts one of the only shorts that I truly reach for time and time mm -hmm. again because just like jeans they pair well with everything sandals sneakers any kind of top so I love them I'm not a huge fan of like a Bermuda style or a longer one just because it doesn't really fit my body type I mean I'm more petite and just doesn't really work as well for me I feel like there's different lengths there's so much variety like there should be one for everyone but I understand they are not for everyone this is definitely a trend that some women really have strong opinions about so let us know do you love your jean shorts or do you hate jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're there. We are at the most controversial trend, the last one, and that is skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. You ladies probably guessed it because we've definitely talked a little bit about skinny jeans. We get so many questions about skinny jeans, and yes, it is definitely the most debated thing out there between influencers. I mean, I could watch 10 different fashion videos and five of those ladies are gonna tell me that skinny jeans are out, they're outdated, they're out of style, and the other five are gonna say they're classic, I love skinny jeans, they're not going anywhere. So now we're gonna give you our thoughts, and my personal thoughts are they're classic, they're not going anywhere. Go into the stores and you're still going to find probably about half the jean styles in those stores are skinny jeans. You still have lots of luxury designers making skinny jeans, and skinny jeans work really well with your ankle boots. They also work well with taller boots that you can tuck you know the jean into the boots so I can't imagine that everyone's just gonna give up that trend because I feel like it works for so many women it works with so many different shoe styles and even though it's not the jean that I am reaching for the most right now it's definitely gonna stay in my closet because I have some pairs that I love and they are not going anywhere and I understand too because there's some women and some influencers that feel like the skinny jean is a little bit outdated. They feel like some of these looser trends, um, these styles of jeans are a little bit trendier, fresh, and more current looking. So we do understand why there is this debate over whether skinny jeans are out or whether they're in. I think for me, you know, I love my skinny jeans, but I'm kind of curious. I was actually asking Kelly, I wonder which of these 13 controversial trends is going to be the most talked about in the comment section. <laughs> we we kind of have like, you know, we think it might be skinny jeans, but yeah, you know, I vote for this one. <laughs> I don't know. It could be like the pointed toe shoes. That's another, you know, big one for debate mm -hmm. or the leggings. We're not really sure. So, I mean, this has honestly just been such a fun video to Absolutely. kind of like talk about because it's okay. We all have our likes and our dislikes in, in fashion and guess what? That's okay. Yeah. That's we, okay. That we definitely had just the other day I was answering some comments and we had someone say like, um, I'm gonna wear whatever I want and you know, who are you to tell me? And look, we are not by any means trying to tell people what to wear. We're fashion influencers. That's what people come to our channel. They want our opinions typically. So when we give you our opinions on things, it's not because we are the fashion police <laughs> and we're telling you don't wear these things. It is all opinion. I feel like fashion is so subjective. That's why these are controversial because you have all these different people saying all these different things. And when it comes to skinny jeans, I would just say that we have a style conference coming up next mm -hmm. month. Oh, the end of this month, actually. Yeah. Super excited for that. And I 
I probably won't be bringing my skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you're really bringing your skinny no. jeans, but in real life, we both wear skinny jeans. So if you're looking to, you know, really have something like elevated on trend, you really want to look like fresh and current, probably the skinny jeans are not going to be your first choice, but that doesn't mean that they can't really fit into your lifestyle because mm -hmm. they're a great pair of jeans. So we're not getting rid of ours. No. Okay, so that was so much fun. Honestly, cannot wait to read your comments below. I think some of these trends are ones that we've never heard your opinions of. So of course, we always want to know where you ladies stand. We hope you have an amazing week and we'll see you next time.